Alrighty, well, hi everybody, and once again, it's cast time, and then, um, I kind of need to say here, too, this is basically an unfinished cast. Um, I put some finishing touches on it and stuff like that, but I don't think I have it the way I want it. Um, reason being is I just got, I just got finished up, um, making another video, um, about some, uh, about some new, uh, tips and tricks that I learned, learned today when playing, um, Cook, Serve, Delicious 3. Um, I made a video about it, but I figured since, since I already have, I basically have everything set up, set up for the video and stuff, I, I just thought I'd go ahead and just jump right into the cast, again, add a few finishing touches here and there, and then just, just go on, rather than sitting here and, you know, shutting everything down, and then, you know, getting everything set up for the, so yeah, so basically, this is, so you could almost think of this as like a, like a, a double header video, I guess. Like I said, basically an unfinished, unfinished video here. So I'll do the best I can with what I got. Um, but the music is. Let me let me go to it real quick. The music is going to be a exile across rivers of yore. Um, I need to, I do need to check the volume while I'm here. Yeah, better better do that. Okay, so and um. Uh, Basically, it's um, it's ambient, uh, kind of kind of folky kind of music. But anyway, let me go ahead and rewind her back. And like I said yesterday, um, my computer, my uh, my computer crashed when I hit Alt Tab. So, and I'm gonna have to do it again. So, wish me luck. I'm, uh, I'm sound checking it right now. Okay, so it don't look to be too bad right now, so I'll I'll just I'll call it good on that. So anyway, um, well, today's stream was pretty damn good. Um, just I like I said, um, I posted this in my video. Posted this in my video. Um, I actually learned a trick or two when I'm uh, making food. Especially with the controller, I I figured out a way to make things more uh, make things more efficient and just overall skill. Um, I guess I could probably give you a short version, but here I gotta I gotta take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. So anyway, um, but yeah, I mean, just with your controller, um, you could um uh, you can two for one ingredients it, it, it's kind of hard to explain if I don't have the game here but uh you know left trigger to, you know you know left trigger right trigger aka l2 r2 on a PlayStation controller if you um if you held down you know there and each page of ingredients is uh two columns you know the left column right column you know they're all ingredients and stuff if you held down if you held down both trigger buttons, indicating both sides of the page, like if uh, if two of the ingredient, two of the required ingredients for whatever it is you're trying to make, if they're both right next to each other side by side, you can hold down both triggers and then push one button, and the game will go ahead and put both of those ingredients on at the same time. So that could, I mean, so that could say button presses right there. That can save you some time, but yeah, I learned I learned that during my stream. So and um, and it's gonna come in very handy for the the more tougher recipes, the ones that have the longer lists. They're gonna be hard as hell to read. And then second thing, um, this is probably gonna come with this is definitely gonna come with time, but I had just noticed this during my stream today, but uh. The, um, the stuff you're making, or at least the variations of what you're making, actually have titles. Like if you wanted to make a, like if your recipe, if the food item you had was say, let's say a chicken sandwich, um, or maybe uh, maybe not a good enough example, maybe say pizza. You know, in the middle of the uh, where the list is, the list of ingredients, the titles above it. Like if you're making say a, a meat lover's pizza. 
if you could remember the name, you know, if you could remember all the ingredients required to make that, the meat lover's pizza, and that's going to make you even more efficient because you already know exactly what ingredients go on a meat lover's pizza. So you can just, that'll help you be a little bit quicker. You know, if, if it's say, if it's say a supreme pizza, if you know exactly what ingredients go on that supreme pizza, that'll help speed you up as well. I was doing that on chicken sandwich. I can't remember the, I can't remember the titles right off the top of my head. But yeah, you know, say like, you know, you know, it's like spicy, spicy garden chicken sandwich or something like that it has exactly these ingredients. If you can, if you can remember that, then that'll make you a lot quicker. But I think something like that, though, would definitely come with time because you got to, I mean, in, in order to, in order to know what's on, the, what's on that particular item, you had to have actually made that item. You had to have made enough times to know, to, you know, see the name and all that stuff. You know, you know, name recognition, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. So, but anyway, um, just started doing that. Um, and normally, normally throughout, throughout the stream, I was just, uh, doing what's called chill mode. Just, um, you you basically have infinite time, um, and another little interesting twist on the game is uh it's basically set in a Mad Max post-apocalyptic world, so you're competing, uh, competing food trucks will attack you and stuff, and they'll they'll destroy one of your fryers or all the food that you had that you had in your your fryers that were cooking up, you know, a rival truck will. <laughs> Plow right in you and destroy all your food and all that. So you know that kind of thing. But but uh, playing the game in chill mode will shut those down as well. So but um, once in a while though, mainly on like the easier the easier quests or missions or whatever, I actually try to go for the gold. And I kind of complained about this yesterday. Um, in order to get a gold medal, you have to be 100% accurate, 100% perfect. Um, if you make one single mistake, you can't undo it, which to me is a little bit harsh. I mean, you gotta at least, on at least some of the, some of the condiments, like say, tomatoes, like in real life, you know, you put a tomato, you put tomatoes on the hamburger and the guy's like, hey, I don't want tomatoes on that. Oh, well, just simple matter of just, all right, take them off then. You gotta be able to do that in the game too. Now for some things like say, salt and pepper, I mean, once you once you got it on your burger, I mean, it's kind of kind of hard to take off. You pretty much have to start over. You know, so that's understandable. But you know, other items like lettuce. You put a leaf of lettuce on there. Hey, I don't want lettuce on that thing. I ain't no vegetarian. You know, all right, just take the lettuce off. I mean, you ought to be able to do that in the game as well. So, so yeah, like I said, penalties are a bit too harsh. But in order to get a gold medal in this game, um. You basically have to be 100% perfect, and also if you're if you're going for the goal, that also means you're playing with uh you're playing with uh, patience meters. I think it's what it's called. If a customer has to wait too long for your order, pew, off they go, and it counts against you. And it's basically a fail. So if one customer leaves, you know you don't serve that customer quick enough, pew, there goes your run. You might as well just restart it right then and there. In fact. Uh, yesterday, yesterday's stream, I think I, I ended up doing that. I tried to go for a gold medal, messed up an order, or I didn't fill an order quick enough. I just restarted the run after that. It just, I, there was no point in going on. So, I'm going to go ahead and take another drink. And then, um, something else, um... I'll probably talk more about this in a few minutes, but, uh, I'm also considering, um, uh, watching a, I remember, uh, I remember uh, anime movies, they're, if I remember correctly, anime cooking shows, like, they're, like, super popular in Japan, you know, just like how, like how, I'll uh, say, Lord of the Rings, movies are very, very popular here in this country. Like, anime cooking shows are real popular in Japan. So, I I think I started watching, like, a top ten 
anime cooking films of all time or something. So maybe, um, uh, maybe, maybe after I've gotten this cast video on my uh, other cook serve delicious video, once I've gotten all that squared away, I might go ahead and give one of those a watch. So just, you know, just see what they're like. <laughs> and then, uh, while well, continuing on that subject, um, I actually started looking into, started watching videos on food trucks, like a few documentaries and stuff. So it, it's pretty interesting life. But um, there's a, uh, the one I was really interested in. There's actually, there's a, I learned there's actually two types of food trucks, the kind that are stationary. You know, they, they park it and they stay there. They basically stay there permanently. Um, it's basically a, a miniature restaurant. And then there's the, uh, there's the roving kind. That was the one I was really interested in. Just, they don't, you know, they don't stay in one place. It's, you know, I mean, you know, and believe it or not, ice cream trucks fall, fall into that category as well. You know, the ice, ice cream truck, you know, driving down your neighborhood street, you know, the cute music playing in the background. Ice cream! Ice cream, you know that you know that kind of thing. I mean, all other food trucks fall in that category as well. So I thought that was pretty interesting, you know. Have a food truck like that, just drive around, you know, neighborhoods, bas you know, basically busking. You know, like when uh, street performers play their guitars like right out in the street and they have their guitar case open, you know, accepting tips, that kind of thing. I thought it'd be kind of interesting. That'd be a pretty interesting idea right there. Just do the same thing with a food truck. I think that's what a lot of them do. I'll bet. You know, just drive down a bit, drive down a busy street, park it, throw off their shingle, see who shows up. You know, see if they can make some money, that kind of thing. And then um, something else I was looking at, like the business side of it. There was like a video or two of it. Like um, initial investment is like a hundred thousand dollars. Like yeah, I ain't got that kind of money. But um, if you actually did, actually no, I take that back. Um. The one, um, the ones that I watched, they said, yeah, that it's a lot of money to start off with, and you ain't gonna be able to, you ain't gonna be able to finance that out of your own pocket unless you're like Donald Trump or something. But uh, if you, if you know, um, it would, it would, it would be assumed that you're not Donald Trump, so you're gonna have to get the money, the initial money from somewhere, so you're gonna have to take out loans and stuff like that. But once you manage to get that. That a hundred thousand dollar or a hundred thousand ish dollars to start it up, you can make like fifty. I think last I heard, fifty grand a month or something like that. So, and then, and then something else. And something else I thought was pretty. And I actually talked to one of my regulars on YouTube this morning about it. You know, if a legendary musician, writer spoken word performer Henry Rollins if he was to if he was to ever like retire or something I thought this would be an interesting profession for him to get into it just a weird idea that cooked up on my head you know just start up a food truck business just drive around to locations and stuff like that you know you know kind of kind of keep a journal you know keep a journal of all the places he's been all the all the food he's cooked you know that kind of thing I swear to God, it'd be like an, it'd almost be like an Onion article. Like, nobody would believe it. So, you just... But, like, like I said, pretty, it'd be a pretty fascinating life to have, though. You know, living, you know, living in a food truck. So, but, like I said, it, it died there ain't no way in hell I'd ever do something like that. Like, I mean, just the fact that you'd have to, you'd have to scrounge up that much money. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave that shit for somebody else. So. Okay, I'll, I'll just leave the music running because I don't want to run the risk of uh, crashing my PC. So, but otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Um, I, I believe I said all the things that I wanted to say, and like I said, um, there was probably some other stuff too, but 
once again, this is basically an unfinished cast. Um, just wanted to go ahead and do this one since I had everything set up and everything to do my uh, previous video. So, and then even then, there's still a, I think there's still a Gems of War video, my weekly PvP one. Um, I still have yet to do that one. I might, because I think it's a new PvP week, so I might go ahead and uh, do that tomorrow. So, but we'll, but we'll see, we'll see. But otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.